Hey folks, how's it going? I'm back again. I'm going to do a video on a knife because I'm thinking about selling it. Um, and I kind of want to make a video on it because it's kind of a cool knife. It's it's something different. You don't see it every day. So, And by the way, if you want to buy it, <laughs> let's work something out because it's a, I'm going to do it for a really good deal. You could definitely make money off of it if you want to invest a little bit of time. Um, the knife is this one right here. This is a GEC 57 Geppetto Whittler. Serialized number seven. And what makes it special is it's number seven of seven. And this is a prototype. Let's see if I can pick this up here. Right there. Factory test. This is a prototype knife. Um, I believe that number one and two are owned by um, the Howard family, Bill Howard. The owners of Great Eastern Cutlery. So really there's only five of these. It has Kingwood covers. And those are some of the most gorgeous wood covers I've ever seen. It has very nice fit and finish. The blade is just slightly off but besides that. And I mean, I mean, I'm talking just slightly off. Um, the secondary blades... Do not touch the liners. The blades do not rub. It did come from the dealer with like the tiniest little bit of rub marks uh, on just one side. I think it's the side. You, like you can't even see them because you know when they take pictures, they open it up the wrong way. Uh, the the proper way to open it up if you want to keep it in mint condition is this blade first and then these. And then close this blade. But yeah, this is a split back Whittler, um, which you really only see with GEC and older cases, older shades. I mean, in modern day production, you only see with GEC and Queen Cutlery. And GEC does it better. I mean, it's just a fact. Queen does a pretty good job with the Whittlers, though. Uh, it's probably the pattern they do the best at. <clears throat> and I am a big fan of of Whittlers. It's one of my favorite patterns. Whittlers and Stockmen. Um, the reason why I'm selling this knife, first of all, I'd like some money. I really want to buy a Bark River Bravo EDC. A bunch of those just came in the stock and they're like 180 bucks. And I don't have 180 bucks. So, <laughs> but man, I really want one of those. Um, but the main reason is I don't carry it. And I do not collect knives to just look at and gawk at every once in a while. Uh, even though this is a very nice knife to do such a thing with. I just, I'm not into collector's pieces. And somebody right, out there folks, just... had a little battery issue. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm selling this. It's 110 shipped. If you want to deal with me, uh, I'd be happy to deal with you. Uh, I probably won't get a sale through YouTube, but just throwing it out there. I have a lot of positive feedback on blade forms. I'd be more than happy to provide you with my uh, user ID and everything, so you can check up on that. <clears throat> that includes two-day priority mail, uh, insured, and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, it's the uh, 57 Kingwood, number 7. Born on March 30th, 2012. Uh, pretty cool knife. Uh, and here's just some other Whittlers to kind of show off. Here's a, here's a Queen. Um, this is Swell Center Whittler, the number 48 pattern. Uh, Queen does a pretty good job with the Whittlers, like I was saying. I'm not overly impressed with Queen Cutlery in general. Um, I do like this kind of faux stag, burnt stag that they do. I think that looks really good. I think they glue their pins. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure Candle Street Cutlery glues their pins. I'm pretty sure Queen does too. Uh, but this one has a crack in the pin. That's why it is a factory second EDC. You see that? That's a factory second. Uh, but besides that, it's a great knife. And like I said, it is also a split back Whittler. They use a brass uh, split spring on these. But nobody else does that. You know, Case doesn't do it anymore. Shrade doesn't do it anymore. And Camelus doesn't exist anymore. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. This is a great knife. Uh, three and a half inches, I believe. A D2 tool steel. So it's, you get a super steel. 
Um, I would prefer it be 1095, but man, these do come nice and sharp from the factory. It's a cool knife. I carry this one. Um, probably my most carried knife, my favorite knife, is the 38 Grinling Whitler by GEC. And this one I have here in green kryptonite acrylic. I wasn't sure about the acrylic, but I, it's really grown on me. Um, I use this knife a lot. Yeah, but look at that long, slender blade. It is a lot more usable of a knife, in my opinion, than this three and a half inch 57. I mean, look at the look at the size difference. First of all, the handle is not much longer, but look at all that extra blade you're getting. It just kind of makes more sense. All right, let's try this one more time. <laughs> so. I think I was talking about the, the, the 38. Yeah, 38 is great. It's, it's a lot bigger than the 57. Um, so just showing some other Whittlers here. And this is kind of cool. It's a, uh, a Parker brand, Eagle brand. Uh, Japanese made circa probably 1980s. Lockback Whittler. Check this out. Come on. I'm not going to do it here. America ask for nothing but is what is right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but this is a lockback Whittler, meaning it has a lockback. Pretty cool. I uh, see the two secondary blades there. They do not operate on the same spring as the main blade. But, uh... It's kind of cool. Uh, if the main blade wasn't so awkwardly short I would probably carry it more often but yeah I mean not much more cutting edge than that 57 but a much more hefty knife so anyway I just wanted to do that video on the 57 before I get rid of it uh, kind of document my collection. That's one of the reasons why I started the, the channel is I wanted to talk about knives I had. I, I, I go through knives so quickly. I, I sell and trade them all the time. And I kind of feel bad that I don't get to talk about them with anybody. So I talked about the 57. Now I can get rid of it. Shoot me an offer if you want. Or if you want to do a trade. I'm all about trades. But I really want a Bark River Bravo EDC. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. Alright, take care folks.